a lot of these doctors at that point in their career, they're looking to retire. They just want, they don't want to manage the real estate. What, what, depending on whatever their obligations are in that lease, there, you still, even if it's an absolute net lease to a gross lease, to a double net lease, whatever is structured in that lease, you still have to manage the, the property. You have to manage your tenant, the processes, you got to renew them. And it's a lot of work. That's why we do this 24 seven. So when you're an, a doctor and you want to focus on work or you want to focus on retirement or wherever you are in your stage of life, they don't want to manage property. And that's a, that's a pain. And that's something they think about. So not only do we give them cash for the property, but we also relieve that of, I'm done. I'm out of the real estate business. And that's why in turn, a lot of them like to invest with us because they love real estate and they like what it does and they've seen it from a live example. But they're saying, let Alliance take care of the headaches. We'll sell to them. We'll cash out. And you know what? If we ever want to invest in other cities or this city, we can do that through them and be passive. So, you know, between conflicts of interest, being a landlord, um, part of the pain also is what's going on with them personally. Some, you know, you run into sellers that have health issues, divorce issues, uh, estate planning issues. Um, you have some uh, you have some partnership issues. We bought properties where you had partners that just couldn't get along. And it didn't matter what the price was of the value of the real estate. They just wanted to separate themselves. Maybe they were on uh, a loan together, which is part of the pain. They wanted to get off the debt. They, couldn't, they could not make mutual decisions together because one doctor said, we need to replace the roof. The other doctor says, I don't want to spend it, just repair and maintenance. I'm, I'm short on cash. I don't want to contribute. Okay. So that's another reason that happens. You have partnership issues. Um, you have a, a, just a myriad of reasons like they don't want to have debt. You know, you get to a point in your life where it's like we have a personal guarantee on debt. We're 65, 70 years old. We don't want the headaches. God forbid the market turns and we get called on our loan. I'm not taking out of my cash, my retirement to deal with this. And that's also something that, so sometimes they have loans coming due and just the fear of, I don't want to refinance or the value of the properties dropped, or I'm just not comfortable or my spouse or significant other doesn't like me spending time on it because I get calls all the time of, you know, the sewer's not working properly or the sprinkler system's not working properly, whatever might be the case, it just goes on and on the list. And a lot of these issues become inherent scars on your landlord. And when they constantly have these scars and they're not in the business full time and they have to spend a lot of time and money and opportunity costs and doing other things, and that's the other thing. It's, it's an opportunity cost equation for them because they're saying, well, I worked my butt off to generate this income to retire. And now I'm spending a tremendous amount of time just dealing with administrative stuff to administer managing and doing repair and maintenance on this property. And we see a lot of the doctors take it very personally where they don't hire someone. They manage the properties themselves. It's very interesting. That's a, that's a common theme where they don't have an outside management company. They're doing it. They might have someone in here in the office that's an admin that's handling the processes. And what ends up happening is there's a lot of items that are uh, not being handled properly. There's, you know, deferred maintenance is very common in these situations. So at the end of the day, uh, that's really what it's about for them. It's the ability to move on, get rid of the headaches, eliminate conflicts of interest, eliminate debt, put money in their pocket, relieve any outstanding partnership issues. And really for them at the end of the day, it's the psychological factor of them moving on with their lives. You know, it's like if you ever lived in a city, like I, I'm living in Chicago and we're moving and we're in California now. I'm I, not yet, but eventually I'm going to be moving mentally. I am in California. I'm a California guy. And eventually that when I finally do that and our office moves and everything, I've separated 
previous experiences in a past life, and I'm on to bigger and better things. And it's very synonymous with these doctors. It's, it's a new step for them. I lived in this property for 35 years, Adam. I managed it, okay? I want to put some money in my pocket and I want to move on with my life. And God willing, if, if I want to invest in real estate, I can go to Bad and Alliance and I can invest with them. Great properties, great returns. And I don't have to worry about dealing with the day-to-day headaches of owning the real estate. And so exactly. there's so many things that culminate. It's not, it's usually not just one thing. It's a lot of things when you talk to these owners and doctors of, and basically you understand, you just listen to them and you hear their pain and, and all the aggravation. And it, to me, it's really simple. And a lot of it is when you have a multi-tenant doctor group, a lot of it is they also want to kind of separate themselves from each other. They've been living with each other like a significant other for years.